Greetings everybody and welcome to our next video on cross products. So what we have in this problem is that we have a parallel pipe with edges OA, OB, OC, where A is going to be 210, B is going to be 120, C is 0, 1 alpha for alpha equal to 1. We can ask what is the height of this parallel pipe from the vertex C if the edges OA and OB form the base of the parallel pipe. Greetings everybody and welcome to our next example of cross products. So what we're given in this problem is a parallel pipe with edges OA, OB, and OC. Here kind of in the diagram that's rotating around we have OA is the red vector, OB is the blue vector, and OC is the green vector. Now, <clears throat> for we are asked then what is the height of the parallel pipe from the vertex C if the edges OA and OB form the base of the parallel pipe. And so basically what we're going to do is to find the volume of that parallel pipe and then use the fact that the volume is really going to be the area of the base times the height. So let's jump in and see how we can determine what this is going to be. So we have our vector OA and OB. Well, for OA, that's really just kind of the position vector for A, for the point A. So that's going to be the value of 2, 1, 0. Likewise, for the vector OB, it's just going to be the position vector for the point B. And so likewise, that one is going to be 1, 2, 0. And so what we then have um, for our third side, OC, well, that will also be the position vector for the point C, which is 0, 1, 1. Now, the volume of that parallel pipe <clears throat> is going to be um, the scalar triple product. So we have the vector OC dotted with the cross product of OA and OB. And so what this gives us is the 3 by 3 determinant. So OC being 0, 1, 1, OA being 2, 1, 0, and OB being 1, 2, 0. So the value for this determinant, we have our value in the upper right-hand corner. So that's our first value. So that's going to give us 0 times our 2 by 2 determinant. Um, when we get rid of the first row, get rid of the first column. So that gives us 1, 0, and 2, 0. Then we change signs. So we have a minus of the value 1 times the 2 by 2 determinant that we get when we get rid of the first row and the second column. So that gives us the 2 by 2 determinant of 2, 0, and 1, 0. And then finally, we have our third value, 1, across the top, times the 2 by 2 determinant that we get in getting rid of the first row and the third column. So namely, 2, 1, 1, 2. Now for the first two, we have columns of zeros, columns of zeros. So for those, both of those determinants are going to be zero. So we don't have to worry about those. And so our value for our last determinant is going to be 1 times 4 minus 1. So we have a value of... So now one thing that we can also get from this computation is the fact that we really have our cross product also kind of embedded in it. And so that cross product of OA and OB is really just going to be the value of those three determinants. And so our cross product is actually going to be 0 for the first one, 0 for the second one, and then finally 3 for the third one. So this actually gives us our value of the cross product of OA and OB. 
So when it comes to our, um, the area of our base, what we then have is that our area is going to be the length of that cross product which in this case is just going to be the square root of 0 squared plus 0 squared plus 3 squared, and so that will just be a value of 3. So the area of our base is going to be 3, our volume is 3, and so what we then have is that our volume of 3 is going to be equal to the area of the base times the height, h, and that's going to be 3, so we really have 3h equal to 3, or our value for the height of that parallel pipe is just 1. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next problem. Take care.